life and today I'm going to be showing you how to handle an iguana. I use two methods and the first method would involve picking him up and hand feeding him and the second method would involve letting him come to you by offering him food. Now they both work out and I would recommend the first method for a baby iguana and the second method for an adult iguana because it would be a lot harder to handle him. So let's get right in. Since my iguana is just a baby, he has this cage, and as he gets older, I will be increasing the cage's size. Don't be afraid of any tail whipping and hissing. If you decide not to hold him because of that, he will know next time to keep on hissing and tail whipping. Once your iguana calms down, you can begin hand feeding them. And what hand feeding them does is that it teaches them that you can be trusted. Also, the way that you should pet them while you're hand feeding them and just holding them in general is from the spikes down like this. They do like it a lot, and if they start to close their eyes, that means that they are learning to trust you. Method number two is a longer method to do, but it still works. Basically, you want to hand feed them without actually holding them, and let him come to you. Now, this will build a lot of trust towards you, and he will soon realize that you are a friend. Both training methods should last at least 30 minutes until your iguana is comfortable around you, then you can shorten it. Also, it may take a while for your iguana to tame, anywhere from months to even a year. So, as long as you do a taming session every day, your iguana should be tamed up eventually. It is a long process and it does take some time. This guy it took me a month and he is now like this, but when I first got him, he was very crazy. Anyways, if you liked the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.